Good morning, kids. Now we are going to reinforce and practice division. Let's go with the division number one. 64 divided in 4. In this case, 64 is the dividend and 4 is the divisor. The dividend is always bigger than the divisor. So the dividend is inside and the divisor is outside. Now let's take the first number, 6. How many times 4 fits in 6? Is it possible 4 in 6? Yes, because 4 is smaller than 6. Let's give an example. Suppose that you have a bowl with a capacity of 6 mm, balloons. Yes? Now, if you have 4s, how many 4s can you put inside this bowl? Remember, the capacity is only 6, no more than 6. Could be equal, very close, but not bigger than 6. If I put 4 balls inside, can I add another 4? Four? 4 plus 4, 8. And the capacity is 6, so it's not possible another 4. How many fours could you put inside? One four. So, four fits in six only one time. Now, multiplication. One times four. Four. Answer, four. Step number two, subtraction. Six minus four, two. Again, 4 fits in 2? No, because 4 is bigger than 2. What do you have to do now? You have another number in the dividend. Bring it down. So you bring down the number 4. Again, 4 and 24. Could you put 4 inside 24? Yes, because 4 is smaller than 24. The, uh, the same example, you have a capacity of 24 and you have a number 4. How many numbers 4 you can put inside this bowl? 1, you have 4. 2 fours, you have 8. 3 fours, you have 12. 4 fours, you have 16. Five fours, you have 20. And six fours, you have 24. You got it, 24. It's impossible to add another four because it would be 28. And it's not possible more than 24. So how many fours could you put inside? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six times four, 24 or how many times 4 in 24 what number times 4 is 24 6 6 times 4 24 continue 6 6 times 4 24 you write the answer. Next step, subtraction. 24 minus 24, 0. Now, let's check the division. To check the division is the quotient times the divisor, 4 times 6, 24, carry 2, 4 times 1, 4, plus 2, 6, plus the remainder, 0. 64 plus 0, 64. And my answer is the dividend. Remember, to check is quotient times divisor and the answer plus remainder. And the answer must be the dividend. 
Now let's go with the example number two. The example number two is 991, 921 divided in nine. Again, you always start with the first number. And if it's not possible, so you continue with the next one. But in this case, nine fits in nine? Yes. How many times? One. Now multiplication, one times nine? Nine. You write the answer of the multiplication. Next, subtraction. Nine minus nine? Zero. Now let's continue. Nine fits in zero? No, because nine is more than zero. So I bring down the next number, two. Nine fits in two? No. What happens when you bring down a number and it doesn't fit yet? You add a zero in the quotient. Remember, every time that you bring down a number and it doesn't fit, it's, or you have to add a zero in the quotient. So now we have to go to the next number that is number one. I bring down the number one, and now I have 21. Nine fits in 21? Yes, how many times? Let's see. Again, 21, if you add one zero, you have nine. If you add two zeros, you have 18. But if you have three zeros, it's 27. So, no, because the capacity is only 21. So how many nines could you put inside? Two nines. So it fits two times. Now, multiplication again. Two times nine? 18. I write the answer, 18. Now, subtraction. 21 minus 18, it's three. Now, nine fits in three? No. You have more numbers to bring down? No. So this is the answer. Remember that we can continue with decimal, but right now we are going to work only with whole numbers. So the answer is 102. Remember to check, is the quotient times the divisor, 9 times 2, 18, carry 1, 9 times 0, 0, plus 1, 1, and 9 times 1, 9. And the answer, you add the remainder, that is 3. 8 plus 3, 11, carry 1, 1 plus 1, 2, and 9. 921. So my division is correct. Let's go with the, the example number 3. It's 74 divisor and 763 dividend. Again, I take these two numbers and now I take the first one. 74 fits in 7? No, because 74 is bigger than 7. So I continue with the next one. 74 fits in 76? Yes. How many times? One. Next, multiplication. One times 74? 74. Answer. The answer is below 76. Now, subtraction. 76 minus 74? Two. Again, 74 fits in two? No. So I bring the next number, that is number three. 74 fits in 23? No. Remember, what happens if you bring down a number and it doesn't fit? You add a zero. Now, you have more numbers to bring down? No. So, this is the answer. Now, let's check it. 74 
that is the divisor times the quotient that is 10. Remember, 74 times 1, 74. How many zeros here? No zeros. How many zeros here? One zero. How many zeros in total? One zero. And that's the zeros that I put here. Plus the remainder. Plus 23. 3, 6, and 7. And my answer is my dividend, so the division is correct. Now let's go with the last division. Let's suppose that we are going to divide 470 in 30. Every time that you have zeros here and zero here, you can cancel them or you can omit them. Remember, the same quantity of zeros that you are going to omit here is the same quantity of zeros that you are going to omit here. You can't cancel here two and here one, or here two and here one, no. The same zeros here are the same zeros here. I have one zero here, and I have another zero here. So, I can sell one zero here, and one zero here. And now, the division is going to be easier. If you want to leave the zeros here, it's okay. Or if you want to delete them, it's okay too. Now, three fits in four, yes. How many times? One. Multiplication, one times three, three. Subtraction, four minus three, one. Three fits in one? No, because three is bigger than one. So I bring down the next one that is number seven. Now I have 17. How many times three fits in 17? Five times. Five times three, 15. So I write the answer here. And the same procedure is a subtraction. 17 minus 15 is 2. Now, 3 fits in 2? No. More numbers to bring down? No. And now let's close this one with the check. Quotient times divisor. 3 times 5, 15. Carry 1. 3 times 1, 3. Plus 1, 4. Plus the remainder that is number 2. So my final answer is 47 and that's, his, that's my dividend. Okay.